80 seconds. RCO, report range, go for launch. Range, go. CLC, the RU, or go for launch. Roger. 70 seconds. SSE, hydraulics internal. Internal. T minus one minute, seconds. one minute to the launch of the Phoenix yeah. Mars lander. T minus 60 seconds on. On. Forty-five seconds. CLCDR, LC-70, launch enabled to fly. Hundred percent launch. Flight. ATC-3, main power disable on. On. Thirty-five seconds. Hydraulics go. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds away from the liftoff. The ignition sequence will begin at T minus two point five seconds. T minus twenty seconds now. Fifteen seconds. Locks topping in work. T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Main engine start. Two, one, zero. And liftoff of the Delta II rocket with Phoenix, a distant science outpost seeking clues of the evolution at the polar region of Mars. responding. motors and we're seeing the normal levels of disturbances as we go approach Mach 1 correction we're past Mach 1 we're supersonic solid motors beginning to taper off we've passed max Q first stage performance looking good five miles in altitude All motor burnout, air start ignition, and solid motor jettison. Ground starts have been jettisoned, and the air start motors are up and running, climbing up to their peak chamber pressures. We see the normal amounts of uh, disturbances in the roll axis at solid motor jettison. Coming up on T plus 90 seconds. Both Berniers and the main engine chamber pressures are still strong. Vehicle is now 17 miles altitude. First stage systems continue to look good. We're approaching solid motor burnout. Solid motor burnout and jettison. Got a good jettison. All three air start motors have left the vehicle and we've initiated our LOX tank relief reset. LOX tank top pressure increasing as expected. Main engine and verniers continue to burn well. Coming up on T plus 160 seconds. The vehicle is now 34 miles altitude. And my downrange distance and velocity uh, don't appear to be working on the ground computer. All I have is altitude. Vehicle body rates are very smooth at this time. Coming up on T plus 195 seconds into the mission. First stage systems continue to look good. Box tank top pressure continues to rise slowly, and our main engine and vernier chamber pressures are solid.
vehicle body rates are normal. And the vehicle is climbing in altitude, running right down the center of the range track. T plus 240 seconds. Our next event will be a MECO coming up in about 20 seconds. We have a range liftoff time of 09 hours, 26 minutes, 34 decimal 596 seconds. We have, uh, have our float switches and have enabled MECO. Here's MECO. Burners continue to burn well under chamber pressure, under tank pressure, I'm sorry. VECO. We've separated the stages. And ignited the second stage. Coming up on T plus 300 seconds. Vehicle rates looking normal. Not too much happening at this time. Coming up on T plus 360 seconds. See normal jet activity. The animation we're seeing. It's now 81 miles altitude. Now at T plus 400 seconds, second stage continues to perform well. Chamber pressure is uh, very solid, right where it should be. Hydraulic system and return pressures are good. And we're seeing normal racks jet activity at this time. And we have some good numbers here. Vehicle is now altitude of 88 miles, downrange distance 900 nautical miles, and a velocity of 15,100 miles an hour. Glad to have that back. Second stage performance is still nominal. We have switched to Antigua data. Both CRDs are still operating well. The um, animation that we're seeing is real-time animation based on the data coming back uh, through our tracking stations. The uh, one we're currently getting data through is Antigua. Real-time animation should show our uh, second stage engine cutoff when it occurs. Okay. 